Hi guys, uh, in this video let's see how to connect to SNA Labs in Windows. As a prerequisite, uh, you have to have an SNA Labs account. In order to do that, uh, first you need to create a GitLab account. If you have one, uh, no problem. If not, uh, create a new GitLab account. So after creating your GitLab account, uh, log in into it and uh, go to preferences and uh, there you must uh, add your SSH key here. Now you have to generate your uh, SSH key, for that uh, go to your command prompt. Now uh, copy this command and uh, in that uh, your key name section uh, give your name. Here uh, it shows the file location uh, where your uh, SSH ID is uh, public ID is going to be saved. So give enter. If you want a passphrase uh, you can give uh, any passphrase you, can, you wish or uh, uh, simply give enter. Now uh, go to uh, your SSH key location that you have already given. Go to it is present in your uh, C colon. Here uh, there is a folder called dot uh, SSH. Here uh, your uh, public key will be there. Go to this uh, pub file and open it with notepad so this is your public key copy this and uh, go to your uh, labs and paste it here yeah. and below there is the expiration date you need not give any date here so Now you have added your uh, SSH key in uh, GitLab. Now go to SNA Labs, uh, log in with your GitLab account. Now it has entered the home page. Here uh, go to Machine Labs and uh, under Connectivity section, uh, you will find My Devices. Here you can uh, add your devices in our lab, uh, uh, give your uh, desired device name, device type and uh, it asks for WireGuard public key. Now you, for this uh, you have to install WireGuard. We have already installed WireGuard here so you need to go, go to your browser and uh, install WireGuard. After installing WireGuard, I open it and add an empty tunnel. Uh, give a name for your tunnel. Now copy the public key here and paste it in your labs. Save it and then paste it in your labs. So after adding your device, Go to show configuration. Here uh, it shows the WireGuard configuration. Copy it. And now go to your WireGuard and click edit. And paste it in the uh, configuration. Now save it. Now uh, you have configured your uh, wire guard. So go and activate it. Here it shows the latest handshake. This, this means your wire guard has been successfully connected. And now we have added your device successfully. Now go to my labs and uh, go to machine labs. 
there uh, your essential labs will be there enter the dashboard and deploy your lab confirm deploy now your lab has been successfully deployed now go copy the SSH command there and go to the command prompt and paste the SSH command here and click enter. It asks for your fingerprint, give yes. Now uh, you have connected with your uh, labs through command prompt. By following these steps, you can connect to our labs with your command prompt itself. Now we are going to show you how to connect uh, with our labs with your uh, VS code. For that, uh, first you should install VS code. We have already installed VS code in our uh, PC. So if not, uh, you go and install it. So after installing VS code, uh, open it and uh, install this extension. It is called remote SSH. We have already installed uh, remote SSH in our uh, PC. You please install it. And uh, with this uh, extension, you can uh, SSH to our labs now click the icon below here it will open a small prompt there give connect to host add a new ssh host here now uh, paste your uh, ssh command here and click enter now select the ssh config file and give connect so it uh, asks for the platform uh, give linux now uh, your lab has been successfully connected with uh, your VS code. Now uh, go to your terminal in your VS code. Here uh, it shows your essential lab which means that your VS code uh, has been uh, successfully connected to our labs.